Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today's video is all about the boost. It's gonna be sweet. All right guys, for this video, we're gonna do a expose on boost. We get a lot of questions in our videos. How much boost were you making during that run, during that dyno pull, during that sled pull? A lot of questions about how much boost it makes. It's a fun number to talk about. And since we got so many questions about it, we thought we'd do a video specifically talking about boost. Uh, we're gonna do a kind of fun again. We're gonna have me and Will separately, so you get both of our individual takes on what boost is and how you make more of it. And um, yeah, so hope it's pretty fun. And we're gonna have a bunch of uh, just clips playing in this video while we're talking, so you can see how much boost certain things make. So first off, you, you, know, you can tune your boost. There's a range of pressure you can make, but let's say we're going for max boost. Max boost is really determined by how much air your turbo can move. I mean, you can spray it and maybe go a little further, but I mean, really, you're gonna get to a maximum and then you have a tiny bit more you can really squeeze out of it. And that just is limited by the airflow of the turbo. The turbo can only draw in so much air. So if you're drawing in a, this X amount of air and your engine is this size, that will yield, you need 50 pounds of pressure to fit this much air into this size of an engine. And it doesn't matter what you do, if, if the turbo can only draw in this much, that's what you get. So in a large single, Let's say a streetable single, like maybe Josh's six point great. He had a, a, a 476 on there and he's able to make maybe high 50s, low 60s uh, air pressure, pounds of boost on that turbo as a single turbocharger. If he had that same turbo in a compound arrangement where the 76 was the large turbo, meaning that was still his air capacity, he probably would not have made much more boost even in a compound arrangement. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. And so um, to get more boost, you need more air. Like the UCC truck, I can go probably 250 PSI on that if I want. And those turbos are gigantic and that's because they pull in a huge amount of air. So like when I do a dyno run, on the on the godfather i pretty much let it take it all because it's a very short run um so i don't worry about blowing stuff up on a dyno pull because it's pretty quick and so i'll see 220 psi regularly on that in a, in a dyno application when i go to the sled pull track it's under load for quite a bit longer so i actually tune the wastegates down and uh, I'll run about 165 pounds of boost when I do a sled pull uh, at UCC. And it's really happy there. Just it holds about 5,500 RPM down the track, uh, which is a pretty sweet spot for that engine, and it works real well. The drag strip is a little bit scary because, um, unlike a dyno or a sled pull, every time you grab a gear, it drops that engine RPM way down. Once you do a dyno, it's just a, a gentle sweep up. When you're in a sled pull, you get it up there and you just maintain that RPM the whole way down the track. When you're shifting gears, you'll get the RPM way high like a sled pull and you grab a gear and it drops it clear down. And so that's kind of pretty rough. You drop down in big torque. And so I probably run about 165 there as well, um, depending on how fast I'm hoping to go. But on that big turbo system, it's pretty hard to keep it under 165 and have it be happy. It really just wants to, the turbos are just too, too lazy, anything under 160 PSI on that system because they're just, they move so much air. But again, that's two 106 millimeter turbochargers on the atmosphere, so it's just crazy. Um, the Junker drag truck, we've had many different combinations over the years. He had a, an HT4B with an HQ351. I think he was probably making around 80 pounds of boost with that. One big factor you'll notice, you'll see a bunch of varying boost levels even for the same vehicle. Boost is hugely related to the load. If you load an engine hard, you get a lot more exhaust temperature and energy coming out. Uh, we, you tend to make a little bit more boost. It's very load sensitive as well. So it's not just 
how much fuel or how tight's the wastegate set. It's, there's also a load factor. Take Josh's truck, for example. When he's sled pulling, he's loaded to the max. There's times he's been upwards of 70 pounds of boost. When he's doing a, a high rev and burnout, he might only be making 50 pounds with the same turbo and the same fuel tuning. Boost is very dependent on load. Perfect example, my Junker drag truck on the dyno. When we're doing this burnout here and we're ripping the tires off on the dyno, check out the footage. On that sort of a run, it's only making, you know, 70, 80 pounds of boost. We take that exact same tune up and go to the drag strip. When it shifts into overdrive, boost will hit 105 pounds on that shift when it pulls the engine down. So the turbos are at full, fully spooled. And when it pulls the engine down, which slows down the, the speed of the engine, uh, there's, there's almost a slight backup of air. The engine cannot ingest as much air. The boost will momentarily spike. So it's very load dependent. You get a lot of load on the engine when you shift from third to overdrive at the drag strip. All these rookies talking to you guys about boost numbers, you know what really makes it spike? A couple of shots of nitrous to the old intake manifold. No intercooler to help dissipate it, straight into the horn. Anytime I added nitrous to a setup, I was picking up anywhere from 10 to 20 PSI of boost. Going down the sled pull track, we had to do fuel only numbers. Unfortunately, it was only doing like 65, but most of those unlimited dyno pulls that we were spraying nitrous, 70 to 75 pounds of boost. And because I have a Borg Warner turbo, it just took it like a champion. None of these whole sets that Will runs, None of these fancy ball bearing garrets that Todd runs, just the good old journal bearing 360 thrust billet wheel Borgs. Hope you enjoyed this video and some of the fun stuff we did. Um, it's just it's fun doing this video, obviously. I mean, burnouts and sled pulls and drag racing, and that's, that's the fun stuff. So if you have any questions, give us a call. And yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Um, that's it. We'll see you next time.